You eat three meals a day plus snacks, yet 73% of Americans are overweight or obese. Have you ever wondered if the problem isn't what you're eating, but how often you're eating? Today, I'll explain to you OMAD, one meal a day, like you're five years old. And by the end, you'll understand why eating once daily might be the most powerful weight loss tool you've never tried, how it rewires your metabolism, and whether starving yourself for 23 hours is genius or dangerous. OMAD is exactly what it sounds like, eating all your daily calories in a single meal, then fasting for the remaining 23 hours. It's not about eating less food. It's about compressing your eating window into one hour. You might consume 1,800 calories of steak, vegetables, and rice in one sitting, then not eat again until the same time tomorrow. No breakfast, no lunch, no snacks. Just dinner and done. This isn't a new fad invented by Instagram influencers. Humans evolved eating sporadically, hunting, gathering, feasting when food was available, then going days without eating. Our ancestors didn't have refrigerators or drive throughs They ate when they caught something or found it, which might have been once every day or two. OMAD mimics this ancestral eating pattern, forcing your body back into survival mode. Here's what nobody tells you about why OMAD works so dramatically for weight loss. Every time you eat, your body releases insulin, a hormone that acts as a traffic director for energy, storing excess as fat. The more often you eat, the more often insulin spikes, keeping your body in constant storage mode. Consider this. A typical person eating breakfast at 7 a.m., snack at 10 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., afternoon snack at 4 p.m., and dinner at 7 p.m. creates five distinct insulin spikes. Each spike can last three to four hours, meaning insulin remains elevated for 15 to 20 hours daily. With OMAD, insulin spikes once, then crashes for 23 hours finally allowing your body to switch from storage mode to burning mode. During those 23 fasting hours, your body exhausts its readily available glucose and starts breaking down fat for fuel, a process called ketosis. Your liver converts stored fat into ketones, molecules your brain and muscles can use for energy. It's like your body has two fuel tanks, glucose, and fat. Most people constantly refill the glucose tank by eating every few hours, so they never tap into the fat reserves. The glucose tank holds roughly 1,600 to 2,000 calories worth of energy stored in your liver and muscles as glycogen. Once depleted, which takes 12 to 16 hours of fasting, your body must access the fat tank, which can hold 100,000 plus calories even in lean individuals. OMAD forces you to drain the glucose tank completely, making fat burning mandatory, not optional. Your glucose levels tell the real story. When you eat three meals plus snacks, your blood sugar resembles a roller coaster, spiking after meals, crashing before the next one, spiking again. Each spike triggers insulin release. Each crash triggers hunger. You're trapped in a cycle of eating to stabilize blood sugar, which destabilizes it further. A typical person's blood glucose might swing from 70 milligrams per deciliter when hungry to 140 milligrams per deciliter after meals, creating a 70-point swing multiple times daily. OMAD flattens this roller coaster into gentle hills. One meal creates one glucose spike, followed by a steady, controlled decline that your body adapts to handle smoothly. OMAD doesn't just change when you burn fat. It changes how efficiently you burn it. After several weeks of OMAD, your body becomes metabolically flexible, switching between glucose and fat burning like a hybrid car switches between gas and electric. Your cells develop more mitochondria, the cellular powerhouses that convert fuel to energy. Studies show that intermittent fasting can increase mitochondrial biogenesis by 20 to 40 percent, meaning you literally grow more cellular engines. You literally become a more efficient fat-burning machine at the cellular level. The insulin response is where OMAD shows its true power. People eating standard diets might spike insulin six to eight times daily. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, dessert. Each spike can last two to four hours, meaning insulin is elevated most of the day. Here's the crucial part. Insulin doesn't just promote fat storage. It actively blocks fat burning by inhibiting hormone-sensitive lipase, the enzyme that breaks down stored fat. It's like having the accelerator and brake pressed simultaneously. Chronically high insulin doesn't just promote fat storage. It makes fat burning nearly impossible. Your body can't access stored fat while insulin is telling it to store more. OMAD gives you 20 plus hours of low insulin, creating the hormonal environment where fat burning thrives. 
Weight loss on OMAD often happens faster than people expect because you're fighting physics, not just willpower. Creating a caloric deficit, burning more calories than you consume, is still required for weight loss. But OMAD makes that deficit easier to achieve without conscious restriction. Most people struggle to eat 2,000 plus calories in one sitting, especially if that meal includes protein and fiber. Your stomach can physically stretch to hold about 1.5 liters comfortably, roughly the size of a large water bottle. Cramming a full day's calories into that space becomes mechanically challenging. You naturally eat less because your stomach has physical limits, and protein triggers satiety hormones like GLP-1 and CCK that keep you full longer. OMAD practitioners often report losing 1 to 3 pounds per week without counting calories or restricting food types. They're not eating diet foods or tiny portions. They're eating normal meals, just once daily. Take Sarah, a 35-year-old teacher who lost 45 pounds in six months on OMAD while eating pizza, burgers, and ice cream for dinner. Her secret wasn't food restriction, it was time restriction. By compressing eating into one hour, they've hacked their metabolism to prioritize fat burning for 95% of each day. The hunger adaptation surprises most people. The first week feels brutal. Constant thoughts about food, energy crashes, irritability. Your body produces ghrelin, the hunger hormone, based on learned meal patterns. If you've eaten breakfast at 8 a.m. for 20 years, your stomach will growl at 8 a.m. whether you're hungry or not. But around day 10 to 14, something shifts. Ghrelin production adapts to your new eating schedule stops spiking at traditional mealtimes. Your body stops expecting food every few hours and starts expecting it once daily. Many OMAD veterans report forgetting to eat because hunger becomes so mild and infrequent. Mental clarity is an unexpected benefit that keeps people committed. During fasting periods, your brain runs on ketones instead of glucose. Ketones provide steadier energy than glucose, eliminating the brain fog that comes with blood sugar swings. Glucose burns like newspaper, hot and fast while ketones burn like hardwood, cool and steady. Your brain prefers this consistent fuel source. Many report feeling sharper, more focused, and more productive during fasting hours. Your brain isn't constantly processing the digestive demands of frequent meals, freeing up energy for cognitive tasks. OMAD's benefits extend beyond weight loss into longevity and disease prevention. Extended fasting periods trigger autophagy, your body's cellular cleanup process. During autophagy, cells break down and recycle damaged proteins, essentially spring cleaning themselves. Think of autophagy as your body's recycling program, breaking down cellular junk and rebuilding with fresh components. This process may reduce inflammation, slow aging, and lower disease risk. Nobel Prize winner Yoshinori Osumi discovered that autophagy peaks after 16 to 24 hours of fasting exactly OMAD's time frame. The practical advantages make OMAD sustainable for busy people. Meal planning becomes simple. Plan one meal instead of three. Grocery shopping takes minutes, not hours. Food costs drop dramatically when you're buying one-third the meals. You save time, not preparing, eating, and cleaning up after multiple meals. Some calculate saving 10 to 15 hours per week previously spent on food-related activities. However, OMAD isn't magic. It's a tool with limitations and risks. Eating 2,000 calories in one sitting can cause digestive distress, especially initially. Some people experience acid reflux, bloating, or stomach pain from large meals. Your digestive system produces enzymes and stomach acid based on expected meal sizes. Suddenly dumping a day's worth of food into your system overwhelms these mechanisms. Starting with a 16-8 or 18-6 eating window and gradually reducing to OMAD helps minimize digestive shock. Nutrient timing becomes critical with OMAD. Getting adequate protein, vitamins, minerals, and fiber in one meal requires careful planning. Your body can only absorb about 25 to 35 grams of protein per hour. So cramming 100 plus grams into one meal means some gets wasted. Certain nutrients compete for absorption. Iron blocks zinc uptake. Calcium interferes with iron absorption. Many OMAD practitioners supplement with multivitamins or specific nutrients that are difficult to get in sufficient quantities from one meal. Doctors worry that OMAD can trigger or worsen eating disorders in susceptible individuals. The restriction can become obsessive, leading to binge-restrict cycles or an unhealthy relationship with food. People with histories of eating disorders, diabetes, or other medical conditions should consult healthcare providers before attempting OMAD.
Pregnant women, children, and elderly individuals should avoid OMAD entirely. Social challenges often derail OMAD attempts. American culture revolves around food. Business lunches, family dinners, social gatherings. Explaining why you're not eating at 7 p.m. dinner parties gets awkward. Some people adjust their eating window based on social obligations, eating lunch some days and dinner others, which reduces OMAD's metabolic benefits but maintains social connections. Energy levels vary dramatically between individuals on OMAD. Some report sustained energy throughout fasting periods, while others experience afternoon crashes or workout performance declines. Athletes and people with physically demanding jobs often struggle with OMAD because their energy demands don't align well with once daily refueling. The research on OMAD specifically is limited, but studies on intermittent fasting show promising results for weight loss, insulin sensitivity, and metabolic health. However, most studies lasted 8 to 24 weeks, so long-term effects remain unclear. Some concerns exist about muscle mass preservation, bone density, and hormonal balance with extended daily fasting. The most successful OMAD practitioners treat it as a lifestyle, not a diet. They focus on nutrient-dense whole foods during their eating window, stay hydrated during fasting periods, and listen to their body's signals. They're flexible with timing for social events and don't stress about perfect adherence every single day. OMAD works for weight loss because it addresses the root cause of weight gain in modern society, constant food availability and frequent eating. By returning to a more ancestral eating pattern, you're working with your biology instead of against it. The question isn't whether OMAD can work. It's whether you can handle eating everything you need in one hour and fasting for the other 23. So, could you realistically eat your entire day's worth of food in one sitting and not eat again for 23 hours? Or would you crack and raid the kitchen at 2 a.m.?